Hello and welcome to this next Pi game tutorial. Uh, today we are going to look at how to move objects around the screen using the key, so how to get keyboard input. And again, I've pre-typed out this program and I'm going to walk you through it. What I would suggest is if you're going to follow along to make sure you're typing this as we go. Go ahead and pause the video and, and keep typing. This is pretty standard by now. We're going to start by importing Pi game, importing Pi game locals, we're going to import sys, and we're going to import time so that we can deal with the animation. I've called this class KeyMove, and I've made it uh, inherit the Sprite class. All right, let's look at the constructor for a second. We have the constructor. We have a move guy that takes a key pressed parameter. And we'll talk about this in a few minutes. And then we'll get down to our main loop. So let's start here and work our way kind of back and forth. So again, first we're going to do pygame.init, set the caption, and then create an instance of our class. The class is called keyMove, and we're passing it a window size as a parameter. And again, the way we try to, the, way, the reason we pass it as a parameter is because we want to change the window size. We just change things in one place. We would change it here, and we refer to it in variables later on. So it makes it a lot um, easier to deal with. Here's something something new this time. We're going to make, well, let's, let's, before we do that, let's look at this key move constructor. So let's go back up here and see what's happening. It's taking the window size variable and doing making a self.window size so I can refer to it throughout the class. We're going to do a set mode, so we're going to create a screen using the window size here, 0 and 32 as we've seen before. Fill it to make it white. Now we're going to add a frame to that's going to hold our, our circle object we're going to move around the screen and we're going to make it 50 by 50. Let's, let's remember that for later. We're going to fill it with white and we're going to get the rect coordinates so that we can move it around later. And we're going to set the initial location at 200, 200, which is just about the center of the screen. And notice I made it a list instead of a tuple so I can move it around. Remember tuples you can't change but lists you can. So that's why I made that a list. If I was doing this more pythonically, I would have made this a you know window size divided by two um, to make it so I could again just I don't have to change it in one spot. Then I drew a circle. I gave it a random color. The size is uh, the, the initial point is 25, 25, which is the middle of that frame, and the radi radius is 25, and I have it filled in. And I set my speed that I want the the circle to move around to be two, okay, two pixels every time I move it. Okay, now we've, let's go back to our main window. We've created the inst the class. We've created the background. Now look at this background for a second. I made the background the exact same size as my frame. So I'm not blitting the entire screen this time when I do it. I'm only going to blit the background, which is a little bit more efficient. When you start to use multiple sprites, this becomes really important. So it's a technique we'll start doing from now on. And I want to make that background white, the same as my original big screen background. Here's another new command that we haven't used before, and it's pygame.key.setrepeat. And I have a couple of numbers in here. What this allows you to do is normally when you press a key, it records one keystroke, and you have to let the key up and push it down again for pygame to register it. What setrepeat does, it allows you to hold the key down and still register that it's being held down. The first value, and both of these values are in milliseconds, so 1,000 would be one second. This first value says how long to wait before you start repeating. And the second value is how long you wait between every successive repeat. So you can kind of play with these numbers to kind of see what they do. I set them kind of low, and you'll see what happens when we move it around the screen. This next part of our program is something we've seen before. We're just creating an uh, infinite loop. And then we can close when we click on the red X, it closes our window. Okay, now here's the, the next the next new thing. If the event type equals pygame.key down, before we checked that the event type was quit, we've looked at mouse button down before, now we're looking at key down. So if there if the key is pressed, what the first thing we're doing is we're blitting the background, okay, which is our white background, over where the uh, object was. Okay, so we haven't moved it yet, so this is where it currently is located. So we're gonna we're basically covering it up. 
and notice that I put I created when I created the instance of the class I called it guy so I'm doing guy dot screen if I had multiple instances I would refer to it by whatever name I gave it but since I called it guy I'm doing guy dot screen so I know it's that screen then I go ahead and move it so I erased it first then I moved it and notice I'm passing it uh, the key that's pressed okay. so let's go look at that method so here's the move guy method it's taking the key pressed as a parameter now it's just a series of ifs if the key pressed is key up and you can look on the Pygame documentation to see how to refer to all the different keys to find out which one's been pressed so if I press the up key and the top of the rectangle is still greater than zero so it hasn't reached the top yet um, you move this rectangle up okay so it's remember you're going it's, it's a negative up direction okay so I'm changing this change the speed if it's if the key pressed is down and the bottom has not is not yet if the bottom of the rectangle has not reached the bottom of the window okay if the self window size is one that's the uh, the y coordinate okay so I look in the y direction you're going to add the speed to the top of the rectangle okay so you're you're basically going you're adding to the y direction same thing if it's if it's pressed if I press the right arrow key and the right of the rectangle um, has not reached the left side of the window add the speed and the same thing for the left key okay so this basically moves the object up and down left and right as long as they haven't hit each side okay so this checks the top checks the left and once I've moved it, I come back. I now redraw that that circle frame on to the new location and update the display. All right, so let's see how that works. So I'm going to do Control F11, and there's my ball. Now again, this is about the center of the screen. That's the the center, or the upper left point of that rectangle. So I'm going to press the up key. And you can see it goes up until I hit the top. If I press the down key, it goes down until I hit the bottom. If I press the left key, it goes to the left. And if I press the right arrow key, it goes to the right. Notice I, I can move it around the screen, but I can't get it. Even if I press two keys, I can't get it to go diagonal. OK? Uh, go ahead and, and type this in. Practice this. Moving with keys is not too much different than moving with the mouse and getting and mouse input. So good luck. Have a great day.